Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an NBA mock draft simulator. So what that means, we're just going to be taking control of the New York Knicks, who are my favorite team, at least for this first video. And we're going to be going through the, the NBA draft with them. We're going to be going through both rounds. Um, I think they have three picks in this year's draft, at least at the moment. So we're going to be seeing how that happens. I'm recording this Thursday at 9 o'clock at night. The Suns were just eliminated from the playoffs because Karis LeVert couldn't hit a game winner. Um, had a great game, but you know, it's whatever happens. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar, I do live in New York, or I do live in Arizona now. Um, so the Suns are kind of like my second team. Um, but yeah, huge Knicks fan. If you guys are new to the channel, if you are a Knicks fan as well, please consider subscribing. We're going to be doing NBA content, NFL content a lot as well. So stick around if you do enjoy. If you don't want to stick around, but you still want to support, be, sh be sure to leave a like on the video. If you want to do both, that's going to be great as well. We can do other teams with this as well. Just let me know what you guys think about it. But other than that, let's draft. Um, and we're going to be starting off here. We should have, I think, pick six. Um, they're just going off of how they think the – I think they're going off of records right now, and then we'll see if um, how it happens. So, yeah, at pick six, first four six picks, uh, first five picks are LaMelo Ball, James Wiseman, Anthony Edwards, Isaac Coro, and Tyrese Halliburton. So now here in the first round, we have a couple players we can look at. We got Obi Toppin on the board, Cole Anthony on the board. Um, Tyrese Maxey, Denny Abdia, you know, Nyeka Kamu, a lot of good talent, obviously. The guy I'm going to end up going with here is Cole Anthony. Now, for the Knicks, personally for me, I just want to see a good point guard in, in New York finally. Neil Aquino just really hasn't done enough for me. He's great on the defensive end, but that's pretty much where it runs out. He's had flashes, but nothing really too special. Desmond Jr., really, with injuries and everything, has just not proven to be anything. I do like Alfred Payton a lot. I think he'd be a great backup point guard. Um, I'd consider pick a, picking up his team option because I think that he's – worth what we're paying him at least um but we need a point guard who really has that star potential i think cole anthony has that he's able to slash he's a good shooter um he was on a horrible unc team this year so i don't blame him for that um without Lamelo, i really do think cole anthony would be the best option at the point guard position in the draft other than Lamelo. um i think he fits what we want to do being that slashing point guard that you know that athletic type point guard but also able to shoot um, so very, very excited if we were to get Cole Anthony out of this circumstance. So um, I do think that's well. A lot of people might be saying, oh, what about, you know, um, what about Obi Toppin? Well, well, we'll do a mock draft when we get Obi Toppin. For me, I think that if the team was a, was better, Julius Randle would be better. Um, he had a good season statistically, but Knicks fans lo either love him or hate him. Um, a lot of Knicks Twitter hates him. I mean, Knicks Twitter is just a toxic place if you guys haven't been in it. But, um, yeah, so I think I think Julius Randle has a lot of talent. I really do. I think that he's a great player in the NBA. Um, just in the situation he was put in, paid as much as he was paid, he had that feeling of, I need to be the superstar on this team. I need to be doing these spin moves. I need to be doing all these work. I mean, in reality, I don't blame him because the talent around him really wasn't much, but we need to get more talent around him, and that's what we're going to be trying to do here. So now here at pick 27, um, Jalen Smith is on the board. Nick, uh, Zeke Njai is on the board as well as Jay Scrub, Aturu, Cassius Winston, Patrick Williams. There's a lot of guys down here as well as a Buike. Um, Pukasevsky we know is going a little bit higher. So um, there's a lot of different things we can go here. It says we need a shooting guard, power forward, or center. I'm going to go ahead and take Zeke and Jai out of Arizona. Um, the reason why is because I think Mitchell Robinson needs a backup that is as young and slightly less talented than him because um, we can't really run Mitchell Robinson. You know, We can't give him minutes like Jokic gets. You know, um, That's just not possible. Because his injury p history and his body type, we don't want to be putting him through too much. Um, but I do want to see another center who is talented and young behind him, which would be great. So that is Zeke and Jai for me. Um, as this is going by, a lot of players are getting taken. And now we are on the clock here in the second round. And now, for me, I'm a huge Damian Dotson fan. I think that he is a great shooter to keep around. I don't know if we will. We just let Trier go. Um, there's a lot of different things we can go here. Now... If this was really how the draft was going, I'd be taking Pukasevsky every time. I don't think he would be here past the lottery. I really don't. Um, so looking around where where we could go, I want to get somebody who really can just score the ball for me, um, either more depth at, at, at the um, forward position or, you know, just depth otherwise. So um, looking around, you know, Tyler Bay is the power forward that we could get um, behind Julius Randle, obviously. But I think I'm going to go ahead and take – a little bit of a hometown bias, but Elijah Hughes out of Syracuse um, because I think he has that potential to be just a solid bench role, um, kind of what Alonzo Trier was in his rookie year, and then obviously we let him go since then. But I think Hughes in the second round could turn out to be a pretty solid prospect for the Knicks. So in the in this first mock draft we've done, we're probably going to only do one more. We got Cole Anthony for the point guard position. We got Zeke and Jai to back up Mitch Robinson, and we got Elijah Hughes to be a good bench role um, to kind of pr provide a spark for the team. So I'm not mad at all at how this one went. I think this would be a good haul to get these three. Um, so, you know, 
Yeah, we got three of the four wanted positions. I think that that's pretty cool. good. We're going to do one more, and we're going to try and different it up, get completely different prospects, and we're going to see how that is. So let's just run. I'm not even going to edit it through. We're just going to go ahead and pick with Knicks again, obviously. Go over to next. Um, we're going to be doing two rounds as well. There we go. Okay. What is this? An NHL mock draft. We're just go next. Please. <laughs> the ads are popping up like crazy. You guys see this. It's, it's not, you know, websites nowadays. We're kind of looking at this. All right. We're finally able to draft. So, like I said, if you want to do any of these, uh, be sure to come check out this website. It is the simulator itself is good. Um, the ads are a little bad. If you have an ad blocker, that's good. Um, so, the first five picks Tyrese Halliburton went number one. Yeah, okay. Um, Halliburton, Wiseman, Edwards, Robert Woodard goes four, and then LaMelo Ball goes five. So, we have options here. Now, if this is how it goes, I was thinking about taking Obi Toppin. I really was. Um, because I think that you would be able to flex out, maybe trade Juju if you really wanted to, um, do a lot of different things. But um, unless we get Mook Morris back, or unless we re sign Harkless, or, or, or you know something like that, we have a huge hole at small forward that has not been filled. And Isaac Okoro on the board. I would love to have Isaac Okoro here. Um, if it wasn't Isaac Okoro, I really would try and take Tyrese Maxey. I think Maxey has potential to be very good as well. Can play the point, um, can play the two. Really is just up to us. I, I think that um, I'd rather have RJ play the two. And in that sense, we would need a three. And I'm going to be taking Isaac Okoro there for the Knicks. Um, as we see Cole, Cole Anthony, Obi Top, and Tyrese Maxey go off the board, those three right there. So those are the three guys I'm looking at. Um, so, yeah, definitely a. Uh, it's going to be a crazy draft lottery. Hopefully we stay top five. Um, top five would be huge for us. I think that that would give us the best opportunity to get somebody that we really uh, have spent a lot of time looking at. But now that we're on the clock here, later in the round, we still need a point guard. We still need a shooting guard. We still need a power forward. We still need a center. Um, like I said, I want RJ Barrett to more, more or less run the two. I think he's better at the two. So we still need a point guard. Small or We pretty much need every other position than what we took. So... Who do I think we could take here? Kira Lewis Jr. is a possibility. He's a kind of a lottery type pick. Um, so he would definitely be somebody good out of Alabama, and I'm probably going to end up taking him. We've been linked to Jay Scrub a lot, um, but he's really a question mark. So I'm going to go ahead and take Kira Lewis Jr. here. Um, if he was still available at this pick, that would be awesome for us. We got our point guard um, to probably back up Alfred Payton at least for a year, and we keep Alfred Payton for that one more year and then let Lewis take over after that. Um, and we have Okoro who slide in there. So, I mean, Alfred Payton, R.J. Barrett, Isaac Okoro, uh, Julius Randle, and Mitch Robinson. It's not a horrible starting five at all. Um, definitely not bad at all, especially if we do something in free agency as well. So in the second round, we are going to have a couple picks here. They're going to look similar to what is there. Um, last time, Patrick Williams goes off the board. That was somebody I was thinking about looking at. So now that we're on the clock, shooting guard, power forward, center, um, looking at who's here. Trenton Watford is a guy who I really like as well. Tyler Bay, Kenya Martin Jr., um, Elijah Hughes. You know, we, we, we've gone through a lot of these. So... Um, I'm trying to see, is there anybody that really, like, jumps out as somebody that I would have taken this high? Uh, not really. I mean, to be honest, there's not too many players that are like Tyrell Terry. I mean, Marcus Howard as well. Um, but I don't think I would take them this high. So I think that going after mm, – I, I think it's a big, it's a bit of a reach here. I think it's a stupid reach. I, I think we would rather trade down than take anybody here, um, to be honest. I mean, Cassius Stanley, I wouldn't – mind but I really I don't know here's the thing I would take Cassius Stanley here normally but I do want to get a big man all right and I'm going to go ahead and take Nick Richards out of Kentucky he hasn't had the best Kentucky career um, but can go in there and pretty much play minutes day one I think and be a solid backup um, but yeah I, I probably would rather Cassius Stanley there 100% uh, but just for the the giggles just to see Richards there I think that would be good and spending a small forward and a point guard is pretty much like getting a shooting guard and a point guard um due to R.J. Barrett sliding down to that too. So not matter again at the draft. I, th I think there's a lot of options. I think that what this is showing is that there's a lot of options for the Knicks this offseason, especially with free agency and everything. Um, I pray that we get LaMelo Ball in any way, shape, or form. I really don't care what we have to do to do it. Just get LaMelo Ball to New York. Um, but I know that a lot of players are, a lot of teams are looking for him because he has that star potential. He has that name value. He's going to have eyes on him. So to pair him with RJ would be awesome. And throwing Lops Mitchell Robinson, I, I can't wait to see it if it does happen. But if you guys did enjoy this video, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you guys had for your own mock draft. Let me know how you guys see the Knicks mock drafts going or how the Knicks actual draft will go. Let me know what teams you guys want to see in the next video, of course. Um, think about probably doing the Suns now because they're a little bit popping right now. So it might be good to hop on them. 
Uh, but if you did enjoy the video, of course, please leave a like on it. Subscribe if you are new. It does help out a bunch on the channel if you leave those likes and subscribe. Turn on notifications if you don't want to miss another video. If you didn't like the video, just refresh the page. Check it out again. Let me know what you think a second time. Without further ado, it's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one.